Welcome inside the Your TV studio. Please be joined by two ladies who have made a huge impact in our community and across the world. Lori Burns and Cindy D'Agostino, co-founders of The Vest Project. Thank you for coming in. Thank oh, you for, thank having, you for us. having us. Always a bright personality and you have bright paintings to go with it. Ladies, tell us about the artwork. I'll start with you, Cindy. Tell us about the artwork and how it came upon to be here in our studio today. Well, we were fortunate enough and we had no idea this was coming to us, but an organization that Lori and I have been supporting and our whole community has been supporting as a result of donations, uh, sent these from Ukraine to us and we had no idea that they were arriving until a friend of ours uh, who is Ukrainian from um, uh, near North Meats, they had called us and said they had received a package on our behalf and we went over, they had sent us all of these paintings and they, it was the Colo uh, Charitable Foundation and they have asked us if we could um, sell these on their behalf. And of course, the money, the VEST project will uh, carry on to purchase more equipment. And Lori, unfortunately, the war is still very much ongoing. Yes. Red news today that there's counteroffensive from the d defenders of Ukraine. How have you seen this initiative help those defending Ukraine? Uh, we've been very fortunate in the groups that we work with. They send us photos and we get a lot of feedback. We've had Zoom calls with them, uh, with people uh, explaining where the money has gone um, and how it has helped uh, right from um, delivery fuel uh, for delivering equipment, thermal imaging gear that we purchased, delivering it 21 hours to the front lines. So a brave uh, volunteer drove everything to the front lines to, you know, we just get stories constantly. Uh, most recently, uh, we were thanked by um, the Colo Fund for some uh, gear that they were able to purchase um, from all of our donations. So some, uh, some new gear. And they're also looking at uh, needing drone batteries, drones, tourniquets are a high need right now. So it's ongoing and as you know, it changes uh, weekly, daily and weekly, what's required. And Cindy, before we circle back to you, Lori, what do you see when you look at these painting, one of a kind paintings? Uh, this is, it's incredible because these are all Ukrainian artists and they're all well-known Ukrainian artists. So when we received these and we started researching um, through Olena and Alexander's help and through the help of uh, their contacts in Ukraine from the Saatchi Gallery and from Kolo Fund who sent them to us, um, they're all very respected and well-known Ukrainian artists. So. Um, this one in particular. We're going to show, we won't be able to show it right away, but we're going to okay. zoom in on it in a sure. moment. Sure. Okay. This one right here mm -hmm. um, was actually shown on the Saatchi uh, website, uh, Saatchi art website. It's, sold as, it's shown as sold because it's here with us. So 100% of the uh, um, money that we raise from these is going 100% to uh, non-lethal non protective gear. Cindy, back to you. The one that Lori pointed out, we're going to put it up on the screen now. What do you see when you look at it as it's very much uh, interpretive as to what it could mean, what it could show? What do you see when you look at that well, one? Well, this one actually happens to be my favorite. And if you look into, you know, back here, and you can see a waterfall. It's a stream that's coming down, and this is my favorite painting. <laughs> So whoever wants to buy that, I might have to pay a dollar more. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the value of these paintings. Uh, we're in a fair amount of uh, dollar figures right now standing amongst some beautiful art. How can people kind of explore the opportunity to purchase and thus volunteer to the VEST project? Well, we have um, sell sheets. So we have information sheets on each painting, which uh, shows the painting, its name, the artist, the artist bio, as well as the, uh, the value. So um, they can contact us, people can contact us. Uh, we would love for these to sell, um, you know, soon. We like, you know, thank you for helping us get this out there because um, it's as soon as we can get gear on people's bodies to protect them. Um, as, as we were talking about, they're all different styles. Some are impressionist, some are more um, landscape, some are more architectural. So th there's something I think for everybody. And Cindy, over the past year plus, how have you been um, certainly creative in raising money for the VEST project. You've held paint nights of your own. You've had done numerous pierogi nights, pierogi days. How have you seen this 
take off over the past year? Well, you know what? Different people have, our community for sure, has been completely elevating us to keep yes. going. And recently, the Scholar Bears had a day where it was a dress down day, and they sold, the kids sold t shirts, and they were able to raise $3,000. And I think it's the energy that we put out to try and, um, you know, get other people excited to do other projects. I know that Average Joe's has recently, um, when we ran into Jim at a local go golf tournament, <laughs> yep. he volunteered Average Joe's <laughs> to do a fundraiser. So we're looking forward to doing that. But um, everything that, like, from uh, school grade kids who have, you know, done a toonie day and... Um, I like everybody has been, you know, trying to get involved. And Orchards on Trent Lake Road, a <laughs> yeah. big partner oh, as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Lori, okay. Cindy, thank you for all you do. And we'll put information up on the screen for people to thank explore you. the possibility of purchasing one of these pieces of okay. artwork. Thank you, Clark. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, your TV. Pleasure. Of course.